It turns out that the math section is one of the easiest ones to raise on the ASVAB. So go ahead and check out this video where I'm going to break down a few of the mathematical questions just so you can get the practice that you need. First question on the mathematical knowledge test says 48 is divided by 0 0.08. The result is, well, remember, if you're dividing 48 by 0 0.08 and that's equal to some number, you could just multiply this to the other side. So you're taking that number times 0 0.08. Well, when you're multiplying by a decimal like this, it would be the same thing as finding like 8% of this number. 8% of this number, well, 48 is bigger than these two, so those are out right away, and it's over 50% of this guy, so the only reasonable answer here is 600, answer D. Number two on the ASVAB mathematics kind of seems like a gimme. It says, if this number right here is increased by 2082, the result will be what? So we just need to add these two together. So I rewrote this guy right here, and let's go ahead and start adding. We got 9 plus 2, which is going to give me 11, carry the 1 right here. 9 and that 1 is going to give me 10, plus that 8 is going to give me 18, carry the 1 to the next one. We have 0 plus 3, which is 3, plus the 1 is 4. And then we have 9 plus this 2, which is going to give me 11 again again, carry the one. And then from there, we're just going to keep carrying nine, carry the one. That's going to give me nine. And then we got a nine right here. So this should be our final answer right here. When I look through all of our options, it looks like that's going to be answer B. What is the cube of nine? Well, the cube just means you multiply that number by itself three times. So nine times nine is 81, but then times another nine is going to give me 729, which is answer D. First off, let's be clear. A negative times a negative is always a positive. So when I plug in negative 2 and 3 into A and B respectively, we're going to see here that negative negative 2 is really negative 1 times negative 2, which makes it a positive 2, times that 3 is going to make this whole parenthesis into 6. We're going to multiply that by another negative 2, and now we have a positive and a negative, so that answer should be negative. So this answer is going to be negative 12, 6 times 2, which is answer A. Some of you guys may remember this as a FOIL question because that's a word often used to help you to remember to distribute each of these terms to each of the other terms in the other parentheses. So let's go through that. The first letter is usually F because you take the two first terms and multiply them together, which is going to give us X squared. Then we have our outside terms, which would be X times the negative 4, giving us negative 4X. And then we have the inside terms, negative 4 times X, which is another negative 4X. And last but not least, we have our last terms, negative 4 times negative 4, which is a positive 16. Now, these two negative 4s will combine into a negative 8 when added together, negative 8x. So that means our final answer should be x squared minus 8x plus that 16, which is answer C. Now, people, that's only five questions off the ASVAB. So make sure you check out my other videos so that you can keep raising your score in the math sections of the ASVAB. And remember, my name is Daniel Caproni. If you want to help me out in any way, shape, or form, go ahead and hit that like button below. And make sure you subscribe so you can keep getting videos like this one. I hope you have a fantastic day, and I wish you best of luck on your next attempt at the ASVAB.